Walk down a supermarket aisle and you'll be bombarded with words like natural and non-GMO. But before you assume these items will help you lose weight or be more healthful, look again. Marketing departments tend to shade the truth a bit, so we're sharpening our shopping game and busting label fables. Labels on our food products are great. The problem is most of us only pay attention to the one on the front. The front of the box is marketing and they may twist a few highlights of that product to allure to that part of you that wants to be healthy. Gym owner and fitness nutrition expert Greg McCoy shares his tips for cracking the code of those labels. And it starts by understanding the buzzwords. Fat-free and organic are the big ones. Fat-free is going to be less than a half a gram of fat per serving. But oftentimes the serving size is very small, so those half grams of fat can add up quickly. So if you've got a half of a gram of fat in a tablespoon and you eat four cups of whatever that might be, you are going to get fat. I think one of the most important things you need to read on the nutrition label is the serving size. Then there's organic. The rules still apply, so you can't get around things by buying organic ice cream or organic pizza. Those calories hit just as hard as the non-organic versions. Next up, Greg says to look for the important items hiding in plain sight. Added sugar, saturated fat, and trans fat. Trans fat you want to avoid altogether. It has horrible consequences. It has no benefit to you. He says saturated fat, like a handful of these mixed nuts, are fine, but in moderation. Saturated fat isn't all that bad for you in moderation. They've removed a lot of the evidence that it's linked to heart disease in the way that we thought it was. Anything with added sugar should also be avoided. And he says to use caution with the good sugar, like in fruit juice. This eight ounce glass of apple juice has 28 grams of natural sugar. The no sugar added, you still need to be aware that there can be a significant amount of sugar. Deciphering the ingredient list is Greg's last tip. What most people don't know is they're listed in order of the what's in the product the most down to what's included the least. It's your first ingredient of this barbecue sauce, high fructose corn syrup, which is something you want to avoid like the plague. Greg says like any sugar, it can contribute to diabetes and other ill health effects. So the old adage, less is more, applies here. The less ingredients, usually the better. Reading past the marketing hype and busting the label fables.